Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss given a set of statements or facts, how can we use predicate logic in artificial intelligence to prove different statements in this case. In this example, we have been given uh, nine statements or the facts. Given these particular facts, we want to know whether the Marcus uh, is loyal to Caesar or Marcus is not loyal to Caesar. That's the first one. Second one is we want to know whether Marcus hates Caesar or not. So these are the two things we want to know. If you want to know the answer for these two questions, the very first thing what we need to do is we need to convert this particular nine facts or the statements into the logical statements. In the previous video, I have already discussed how can we convert these particular facts or the statements into the logical statements with the help of uh, predicate logic. The link for that video is given in the description below. Do follow that particular video to understand how to convert these particular facts into the logical statement first. So once you follow that particular procedure, you will get these particular nine logical statements. Given these particular nine logical statements, we need to know whether the Marcus is loyal to Caesar or Marcus is not loyal to Caesar. So this is the thing we want to know. To get the uh, answer for this particular thing, first we need to select one of the premise which will give us the answer. If you look at this seventh uh, premise, what it says is, for all x, for all y, if x is a person and y is a ruler and x is trying to assassinate y, then x is not loyal to y here. So if we are able to get these particular three premises, then definitely you can say that x is not loyal to y over here. So in this case, x is a Marcus and y is the Caesar over here. If you are not able to get these particular three premises, the meaning is x is loyal to uh, y or you can say that Marcus is loyal to Caesar in this case. Now we will start with the empty premises that is nil here and then we will continue with uh, selecting one of the premises. In this case we want Marcus so that's the reason I will select a man Marcus here that's the first one. And if you look at this seventh premise again we don't want a man here we want person here. And if you look at the ninth one here what ninth one says is this particular ninth one says if x is a man then x is a person over here so this particular thing will be converted into uh, you can say that uh, person marcus over here now once you get this particular thing as a person marcus we got this particular one that's the first one now we will try to get this one that is a try assassinate x comma y you can see here eighth one what it says is marcus is trying to assassinate y that is already known to us so we will consider that one over here Similarly, we have already known that Caesar is a ruler that is also known to us. So we will take that also with the help of fourth premise here. We will get uh, person Marcus that is a Marcus is a person ruler Caesar that is Caesar is a ruler and Marcus is trying to assassinate Caesar. All the things are available with us. If all these three are available, then we can say that the uh, that is X is not loyal to Y in this case. In this case, Marcus is not loyal to Caesar over here. So that is what we will get if you use this uh, substitution here, replace all these particular things with the help of this particular answer here. That is Marcus is not loyal to Caesar over here. So this is the answer for the first question. Now we will continue with the second question. That is, was Marcus hates Caesar or he is not going to hate the Caesar? These are the two things uh, we will get. Either of the two things we will get here. Now, uh, to get the answer for this one, uh, you have to check which particular premise will give the answer. If you look at the fifth one, we have this particular hate. That is X hates Caesar in this case. And if you get X is a uh, Marcus, you can say that Marcus hates Caesar here. And before that, you need to check this particular entire statement again. For all X, if X is a Roman, there are two things can happen. Either X is loyal to Caesar or X hates this particular Caesar here. So, uh, if you are able to prove that X is a Marcus, then Marcus will become a Roman. Then Marcus uh, is loyal to Caesar? No, it is, he is not loyal to Caesar because we have already proved that Marcus is not loyal to Caesar. So, that is the thing we can uh, uh, prove first. That is Marcus is not loyal to Caesar. Because Marcus is not loyal to Caesar, uh, what can happen over here is Marcus uh, hates Caesar here. That is the only option left over here. But before that, what we need to do? We need to prove that Marcus is not loyal to Caesar. We have done it. And then uh, we need to prove that Marcus is a Roman over here. Now, what I will do here is I will start from this particular thing. That is, we have already proved Marcus is not loyal to Caesar. I will consider this particular thing. And then I will try to prove that 
Marcus is a Roman here. So how can we do that party thing? Take the second premise here. If I take the second premise, what happens is Pompey and Marcus, that is a Marcus is a Pompey and we have already know that Marcus is uh, going to hit the uh, Caesar here. That is already known to us. Now, what is the third premise is? What it says is for all X, if X is a Pompey and then X is a Roman here. In this case, what is given to us? Marcus is Pompeian. The meaning of this one is Marcus is Roman here. So that is what we will get here. Marcus is Roman and Marcus hates Caesar. What is the meaning of that one? If Marcus is Roman, there are two things can happen as I said earlier. Either Marcus is loyal to Caesar or Marcus hates Caesar in this case. We have already proved that Marcus is not loyal to Caesar. What is the only option left with us is Marcus hates Caesar in this case. So we will get the answer as hate Marcus comma Caesar here. The answer for this particular question is Marcus hates Caesar in this case. In this video, I have discussed given a set of uh, logical statements. How can we uh, get the answer for these kind of statements like uh, whether Marcus hates Caesar or Marcus uh, is not uh, hating Caesar and so on. But the thing is, uh, uh, we will not be given this particular logical statement lyrically. We will be given a facts or the statements. First, we need to convert those particular statements or facts into these uh, logical statements. And then we need to prove over here. As I said earlier, uh, how to convert those particular facts or the statements into these logical statements is already discussed. The link for that video is given in the description below. Do follow that particular video to understand how to convert facts into these particular logical statements. And how I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.